complete and it's different. Yeah, the, the, the cost of the fuel is encapsulated within the per gallon, uh, <laughs> within the per gallon price of the fuel. So I find the Earth Race a very exciting idea because you're using a fuel that's biodegradable, that's very compatible with the ocean environment. And I wish you best of luck on it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks, man. <laughs> At the moment, these guys leave this place open from four to late, and at four o'clock, these people start queuing up outside here to go refueling on uh, on V100. Cool stuff. The more I understand and the more I learn about biofuel, the more convinced I are that they are going to play a key part in our transport future. But they need to be supported now. So I'm hopeful that maybe a little bit of the work that we're doing might, might make a few people um, sit up and, and take notice and, and hopefully the government will, will be a bit more proactive on it. So far they've just sat back and said, you know, let the market decide. And, and if you let the market decide, then you'll let the oil industry decide and they will not have renewable fuels as part of their mix. So we're at LA Airport about to um, get a flight over to New York. I've done 5,000 kilometres in five days in that car and I'm bloody sick of driving. So New York has been really weird actually. The, the meeting with Amex just went really well. He was into it and um, he's taken further up the food chain which is always a good sign. We couldn't have really asked for much more out of that. So that's been probably the highlight but there's been a few odd things happening with the, with the accommodation. Man, that's a wicked view. We start off at Joseph's place and they, they live in a really swanky apartment on the 38th floor of this, uh, this building right down the centre of Manhattan. You wonder the people spit off at you up here, don't you? Joseph is this amazingly ambitious little bugger from New York here. He's got this project to take a hydrogen powered boat round the globe, but he also wants to come and crew on Earth Race. Um, but we only got to stay at his place for two days. And I think there was a little bit of friction between his mum and us. I don't think she liked us really, and so they put us in a hotel down the road. Uh, and they've paid the first couple of nights accommodation there. But it seems kind of weird, it's almost like we're social lepers that they've, uh, they've gone and turfed us out of their very swanky apartment. I, I do feel like I'm, I'm a fraud here, asking for all this money and pretending I wear a suit and all this sort of carry on. And I'm pretending I can get three million out of these people, but when I asked for it, the guy didn't flinch today at the meeting. Like, he sort of like just nodded his head and seemed like that was reasonable. So, and I was actually left thinking maybe I should have asked for four million, four million bucks. So we've had a couple of nights in this hotel here, but I can't afford to keep staying here, so I found a much cheaper hostel across town. And we had some good news last night. Willie Nelson has uh, signed up to give us 20,000 litres of fuel, and he's going to write an Earth Ray song for us, and uh, we'll be able to put that on the website and use it in any promotion, so that's all pretty cool. So here we are in the hostel, home for the next couple of days. A lot more humble than the the first couple of places we stayed at here. We checked out of the hostel and ended up sleeping the night in a train station to save ourselves another day's accommodation. We got the train down to Richmond. Got scrubbed up in a McDonald's and then had a, a meeting in Richmond with um, UPS, but it didn't really go that well. It was all right, but I think it'll be a long shot for them to become a total sponsor for us. I'm actually pretty darn close to pulling the money together. We've got a little bit from West Coast Reduction. I got the, an email last night from a mate who says he'll loan me 20 grand, but the real biggie is Auckland Finance have said they are prepared to go back us, backing us on it. So if we get all that in the mix, I sell my forestry block, I think that'll be just enough to go get in this boat in the water. I didn't really want to part with the forestry, that was our superannuation scheme, but Pete and I have discussed it and really, we won't get Earth Race in the water unless we do sell it. The house, we've mortgaged as much as we can mortgage it. So it does frighten me that we won't have the house. and It's a big concern, but really, what's money? <laughs> you know, I'm just determined to make this thing happen and I'll do what I've got to do, you know. New York is such an amazing city and we've met some very, very cool people here. Uh, had some great nights here. You've just found a new pair of books. <laughs> <laughs>
Take your nose scrub up, all right. I'm mine, mate. <laughs> but miss my girls and uh, looking forward to getting home. Yeah, yeah. I see all the good. Good to have you, man. What's happening? Hi, Ryan. 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 Hi, but the good news is, uh, I got a call this morning from from a finance company, Auckland Finance. Oi. They're loaning me three fifty, and I've sold my forestry block for one fifty k. So effectively, I've got the half mil that I need to get it get the boat in the water. I'm keen to get as many of you guys back on that boat as I can now. The Lion Breweries are sponsoring us a hundred dozen of spades. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> twenty eight of the spades against each other. Basically, the earth race is back on. The boat's screaming along now. <laughs> what we've done, we've trimmed all the bulkheads back. So, fingers crossed, when we join it together, it should just fit together like a jigsaw yeah. puzzle. to see um, how the media attention seems to be picking up now that the boat is uh, starting to take more of a boat form. We're just jacking the boat up now, getting it on these trolleys. We're going to trundle it out there and uh, we've got a crane. We're going to hoist it up on the crane in two slings, flip her over and then chuck her back inside. Pete at the age of 40 has just said, hey, let's just um, put all of our money into this hairbrain idea. Um, this boat, you know, is running on fat. Animal fat or vegetable fat or whatever. We're going to go around the world and promote alternative fuels. I mean, it is, it's a big thing to do. The, the race itself is a record for a power boat to circumnavigate the globe. Pete is just an amazing promoter, self-promoter, and so as he promotes himself, he, he's actually promoting the boat, but he does that to many, many people, and th there is something about him and his sort of enthusiasm for the project that makes people want to be part of it. Well, the goal of the Earth Race is to break the circumnavigation record. The, the key factor for us is to raise media awareness of um, renewable fuels, so the more media attention we get, then the wiser the public becomes. An Auckland sailor has undergone liposuction to prove his own body fat can be used to help power a trimaran around the world. Peter Bethune's body fat will be converted into biofuel. Theoretically it should work. When Pete mentioned liposuction, it was um, <laughs> from Pete. Where do you get it from? This is the bit that we're after. Uh, liposuction. A little, little bit of a stunt, I guess, but it does highlight for people the fact that you can use lots of different sources uh, to make biodiesel from. The countries can really just use whatever materials they've got available. So you find North America's using uh, soybean oil, in Europe they use mostly canola. In Pacific Islands they use uh, coconut oil. In New Zealand we can do about 6% of our total transport fuels purely from uh, tallow, which is waste animal fats, and a really tiny, tiny amount from um, hopefully Hopefully, my loins. I had to believe half an hour ago that was flattened around in the, in the loins. Yeah, kiss it goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> my kitchen's been taken over by Pete. He's in there stirring human fat. Oh, it's cooking! <laughs> Deep fried with <but> yam. <laughs> The chemical process is pretty much the same, whether it's made from animal fats, from plant oil, fish oil. All of these compounds are mainly triglycerides and it's a relatively simple chemical process to break this down into biodiesel and as a byproduct you get glycerin. And there's that layer of glycerol that's slowly filtering out. It's about a litre and a half there of um, biodiesel. 
couple of